Hey everyone, the guys at Billabong are giving away a trip to stay at the Billabong team house at Pipe on the north shore of Hawaii. Visit billabong.com to enter the sweepstakes. And now, on to the podcast. Okay, guys, uh, welcome to the Yachtcast. It's a total honour and a privilege to have the man himself, Mick Fanning, with me. Oh, hey, Mick. Are. Good, yeah. mate. Thanks for being on the cast. Oh, mate, honour. Wow, fresh off the plane pretty much from Alaska? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just got home about a week ago now and, um, yeah, went to Alaska, um, did some conservation stuff for a group called Wild Ark, mm -hmm. um, which was incredible. Um, you know, went up and saw bears, went fly fishing, um, and just sort of just, yeah, just learn about the area up there, um, sort of Bristol Bay area, uh -huh. um, which was incredible. And then after that, uh, caught the red eye to LA and then caught the next red eye down to um, to Mexico and went surfing with Taylor Knox, which Unreal. was uh, epic. So. How's he still ripping? Yeah, always, always. Yeah. It, was, it was epic. It was, uh, it was great to hang out with. It's been a while. Yeah. But that's your second time to Alaska, right? Yeah, yeah. So you, you love the place. I love it. I love yeah. it. It's um, yeah. I went earlier in the year. Um, went with uh, Mason Ho, mm -hmm. um, which was incredible. And um, yeah, it was just uh, just the whole the whole vibe of the place. It's just like everywhere you look is just like it's cool. like a painting or like wow. a, yeah, just um, and so it's and it's it's like there's no. There's limited sort of, um, you know, there's phone reception stuff, but you can just throw it in you're your bag off, and not worry about it. You you're know? off the grid, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. yeah, yeah. No one really knows who you are in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> I've, wanted, I've always wanted to go to Alaska, but I want to go, like, on a cruise ship and yeah. just look out the window and just, like, see, the like, icebergs and stuff. But, oh, it was incredible. But you go and live there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I was, mean, you're in the wild. Yeah, yeah. We, went, we actually went, um, this time we went and uh, we... We camped at this one spot, and there was no one around. Um, and bears? Well, there was bear shit around. Oh, shit. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, and we were we were freaking out, like thinking, oh, you know, get up in the middle of the night, yeah. do a piss, <laughs> and you're like, oh, if I don't get killed, you know. Oh, but um, no, it was it was incredible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Well, that's amazing. And um, so. I'll just go next to your year. It's been amazing. Um, you know, you won Jay Bay, and I want to talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. But uh, i done a little bit of homework um, yesterday, yeah. and I rang Al Hunt, because I know you're 13th <laughs> on the ratings, yeah. and he assures me that you'll be in the top 22 at the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. And I think so. Yeah, no, he told me that you'll be fine. <laughs> yes, yes, I qualified. <laughs> you qualified. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's talk about qualification. I mean, you've had an amazing year. Every Pretty much every event in your form has been you know, the same as it always has been. And next year, are you psyched? Um, right now, no. Right now, no. No, well, I, um, you know, I but guess... But you are going to do the tour next year. Yeah, yeah. I'm sort of... Um, I still haven't answered that question myself you? yet. Oh, no. Okay. Um, you know, I guess this year, um, to be totally honest, I didn't want to do any events this year. Yeah. I wanted to have the whole year off. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, you know, obviously with with Bede and Owen, you know, with their injuries late last oh, year. Oh, next year the wild cards. Are yeah, I, ju I just didn't feel like taking um, one off taking those, one guys. Of those yeah. guys, especially if I got to the end of the year and just be like, okay, um, I don't really want to be here, you know. Yeah, right. So uh, I figured I'll just I'll just go and do the events that were easy, yeah. um, and. Um, and just try and qualify out of those few mm. events. And, and yeah, you've done that. Done that, so, yeah. <laughs> so no, it's, it's up to you now? Yeah, just cruising yeah, now, yeah. yeah. No, and, and it's my choice, which is, um, it feels really nice. But, yeah. Um, I'm sure, like, it's a little early to get psyched for next year anyway. I mean, yeah. even though it's late in the year, but still you want this whole year just to yeah. chill, right? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Like, my whole goal this year was just try and put myself in places that I'd never thought I'd be. Mm. Um, and And just... And not have a schedule, um, so it, it's been it's been amazing. Like the just the feeling of it all is, is so different. You know, it's um, you know what it's like when you're on tour. You you're doing one event. As soon as that event's finished, your mind shifts to the next one. Mm. You got to get boards ready. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, what sort of train do I need to get to that yeah. point? And and so um, yeah, it's good just to be totally off and um, you know 
I don't, I haven't got anything that I have to actually be at. No, know? yeah. Yeah, so it's good. And on that training part too, I mean, uh, you know, like Nam Baldwin is an amazing trainer. He's been training you for how many years now? Um, yeah, I started training with him in 2012. Yeah, okay. Um, so it's so been, yeah, yeah, about four years. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he's, he's incredible, as you know. He, yeah. Um, just really different and very open. Um, mm. You know, I guess when you train for that many years, it's like you got to keep it fresh. Yeah. Yeah. And, so, and he does do that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, I just like the way that every session is different. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and he, he's, he's uh, really open to different things. Yeah. So it's good. I've been lucky enough to train with him and you right, a couple look of times. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. But you are still really fit, so yeah. You Me? Yeah. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no training in Alaska? Uh, Did you surf this time? Bit of this training. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, bit we didn't surf this time. Um, it was oh, no. just, no, it was strictly just, it was amazing. We just took a suitcase. Just that's it? And yeah. no board? No boards, wow. nothing. Oh, yeah. So um, it was, yeah, it was just, um, yeah, it was totally nothing. It was awesome. Oh, cool. So I'm sure you'll start training with Na Nam again soon, later yeah. on in the year. Like, have you got any more trips? Um, yeah, I'm sort of just in the in in the works of doing some um, different things towards the end of the year and then um, early next year. Um, sort of things that I sort of can't really say, okay. but um, but yeah, it's all sort of exciting, different things. Yeah, you know that. As I said, like I'm just trying to put myself in places yeah. that I've never really been, and um, and even just you know I'm just sort of sitting at home waiting for phone calls and like like there's a swell here yeah, or something's or, happening, yeah. you know, or if someone's like oh let's let's go do something really fun here, <laughs> or, okay, <laughs> you know, so yeah. it, it's been you're awesome. up for it, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so cool because like all those years I've done the tour too, and like you've been doing it for like you know 15 mm. years plus. But you always go to the same spot every time. You do, you do. You do. Um, and I, you get, it's good. You get used to it. You know where you're going. You got your friends everywhere. But it's like you need to get out of that kind of. Yeah, box. I used, yeah, just just busting out of the bubble a little yeah. bit and just being vulnerable. Mm. You know, rocking up to places where um, where you don't really know anything and it's exciting. Yeah. And I guess also too, like being off tour now, it's not like oh I have to be home by this date to, to go there. Yeah. I'm like, you know, I'm booking tickets and telling my travel agent, oh, just put a tentative date in yeah. and I'll tell you in a couple of weeks, yeah. you know, so yeah. um, it's, it's, it's been fun. Unreal. Yeah. And um, we're having your beer right here at Bolter <laughs> Beer. Bolter. That we'll um, show. It's a nice looking little can. Mm. How's it going? It tastes really nice. Oh, cheers. Um, yeah, it's going really good. good. Um, we've, um, We've we've been lucky enough that the you know the community up here has just really jumped on it, mm -hmm. and then um, you know we're expanding into um, we're in Sydney, yep. we're in Melbourne, Newcastle, just in selected spots. Yep. Um, and we're, we're growing like we're we're finding it so hard just to try and keep up with wow. demand, which is which is a great problem. It's a great problem. Um, so we're we're expanding at the moment, which is uh, really cool. Um, and plans to go international. Um, yeah, look, we'd love to, sure um, but yeah, look, we, we, I guess Just you can't, um, straight away. Do yeah, it, you yeah. can't, you can't buy holiday homes when you haven't <laughs> furnished your own home. So, um, yeah, we, we're just trying to get Australia all sorted and, uh, yeah. I love it. Oh, it's like cool. nice and light. It's a little sweet, but it, t it goes down really nice. Oh, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, Scotty, Scotty, our head brewer is, um, he's incredible. He, yeah. He's just, um. I guess he, you know, he's just so passionate about beer, you know, mm. um, and you can just see he's like a mad scientist, just ticking and ticking and coming up with new things all the time. And you know, he always gives us a new beer at the brewery where we can try them. And every time you grab one, it's like, oh, it's different, but it's still amazing. And, yeah. Um, you know, maybe I'm being biased, but that's oh, I love that's, it. that's the sense. I've had the tour. Joel took me through the tour up there at Corumban yeah, in nice. the brewery and it's like so neat and clean and nice oh, and because we're not there. <laughs> <laughs> so like everything's polished and yeah. I'm like wow this place is amazing. Yeah no the, the, the crew in there do an amazing they job do. you know and yeah. to have like a whole bunch of our best friends in there working yeah. it's it's epic. So that's you Joel and Bede. Bede, Kersey, oh, Kersey um, and then um, and then obviously Scotty's the head brewer, yep. and then uh, Sterling. Sterling, we used to be at Billabong. He and did, then, yeah. Uh, Aunt Macca. Oh, uh, no way. Yeah, okay. so Aunt, 
you know. It's a family I, affair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a Waters, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's great. It's um, you know, and then Ryan Bill's sister's there, so you know, Ryan from Rusty. So uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone, everyone sort of come together. It's been great. That's all time. Mm. Um, so I know, like the last couple of years has been like kind of rough, and you know, mm -hmm. like I know you lost Sean. A long time ago, mm -hmm. a younger brother, and he was a really good surfer, a good, really good friend of my stepson's Rainer. Yeah, actually, yeah. they used to hang out, and then, and then you lo we lost Pete just this year, and um, and uh, it's been, it's, been, but I, it's just amazing how like you've just kept your like your solid, um, you know, um, mentality. You know, you, you've just stayed so. Uh, focused, you know, in hard times. I mean, like, <laughs> you're probably yeah. saying you won't, but I'm, but you have because most people be like get really depressed or like go on a freaking two year bender or something. Yeah, you've kept yeah. yourself self really composed yeah, during, I'm sort of during up tough and down. times. <laughs> yeah. It goes up and down. Yeah, look, I, I sort of, um, I guess in those tough times that um, I find that, you know, if you, if you, go on benders or, or something like that. Then, it's not going to help. No, it's not going to help, you know. You just, you you sort of wake up depressed and it just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, obviously it was it was definitely hard for me. And, um, you know, I had to just get away and, and get out of the limelight. You know, I went I went snowboarding um, after the whole year was done last year. And and even this year, just, just you know, going places like Alaska and just, just escaping, yeah. you, know, you know, not walking down the street and, you know, you know, it, it, it's great to have people, people coming. You know, yeah, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna want to bring it up. And yeah, and you know, not only that, but the probably more the shark thing, if anything. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like. And oh, I forgot to do, and that and that too. <laughs> and I, I want to touch on that, but um, yeah, yeah, and I appreciate you talking about you know Pete and that, but um, mm. yeah, yeah, you just gotta. I don't know. I, you know, everyone gets dealt bad cards. Yeah, you know, yeah. everyone gets dealt. You know, hard cards and it, it's like I, I look at my life and look I'm, I'm blessed I, yeah. I get to live on the beach I, I get to go and still have a job that is incredible and I go and just you know, go to the best places on, on earth um, so you know I can't sit there and look in the mirror and cry poor me no, all the time yeah, you know yeah. it's it's like all right you you just got to make um, more of life and and go and go and chase those opportunities when they are there and uh, so that's sort of you know that that was a big part of this year as well yeah. you know and because um, that's what they would want yeah you know well you, you knew Pete I knew, I knew Pete yeah. <laughs> he was all time yeah, he didn't he didn't uh, he, liked he to never have a good said time. no to fun no, no. <laughs> <laughs> liked to have a good time and you know and that's so true I mean you know after losing my, my father and and we've lost a lot of close friends mm. you know with Andy and um and there's been a few lately, so yeah, you just can't dwell on it. You got to move on. Yeah, hey? exactly. You just got to. But as long as you like think about them. Yeah, you know? for sure. You know, I I think about you know Sean and Pete yeah. every day. Yeah. Um, you know, I think about Andy all the time. I think about you know, there's so many different friends that we've, we've lost, and um, you know, I think there's just different moments where they you just feel like their presence or their memory yeah. will just show up, and um, being able to take a moment. Yeah. You know, you don't have to tell anyone about it, but, yeah. you know, if you're just there and you, you'll probably see me walking, like, <laughs> along the point over summer and I'll just look up in the sky or something, you'll be like, oh, what's God, it, no, what's but he that's what you're about? thinking of. <laughs> but I really believe that, too. Like, when you think about them and that, it, it, that means they're living, you know, they, they're living definitely, on. Definitely, definitely. Because I, you get chills when you think about them yeah. and it means they're present and it's really cool, yeah? For sure, yeah. Like, I, I have this, you know, call me crazy, but I always <laughs> have this thing where... Um, sometimes I just feel uh, different energies come over, and uh, I might feel a little bit more, uh, a little bit more energised, or you know, feel calmer or something. And I sort of can relate those to my brothers and, and knowing that they're there, you know. Yeah. Um, and you sort of just feel like you've got a garden angel yeah, on your, yeah. uh, on your, on your shoulder. But um, yeah, no, it's 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 definitely. Uh, it's always good to remember those. Yeah, it yeah. is. And the shark. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I really want to talk like what you know, you've you know, you're at Jeffreys Bay and um you're in the final against Julian. Um 
you're obviously focused, you're thinking about the next set. Mm. I don't know how long that lull was, Was you can tell us, but what was going through your head? Because it came from behind, right? Yeah. You didn't see it. No, So no. what went through your head when it bumped you? Um, yeah, look, it gave I was... a pretty good shove. Oh, shit, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I was, you know, Julian caught the first wave. Like, yeah. I'd been out there, I think I was there for four minutes. Wow. Um, and, like, I got out, as soon as I got out the back, they started. Julian caught the first wave, and I was sort of sitting there and waiting for that next set, and I was just like, oh, I might just start moving down the point. Like, seriously, would have been, like, a second or two, and I was just about to get up and move, and then I, I heard it, or felt a presence behind yeah. me. I heard a splash. Oh, you heard a splash? Yeah, and, um, and that was when I just... I was like, holy shit, what's that? And I tried to just jump on my board and... Pulled your legs up. Yeah, and um, I felt it over this side, so I jumped over that side and just tried to put myself in between it. And, um, and you know, everyone's seen the footage and, and it hit me off my board, but then it sort of dragged me underwater with my leg wrap for a little oh, bit. Oh, did it get tangled up yeah, in Yeah, I think it was bit? in its mouth or something. And yep. then it snapped and then it actually came back again, like when the wave went, uh -huh. um, it came back again. Oh, and that's that part of the footage that we can't see because yeah. you're hidden by the wave. Yeah, yeah, and so, and I, I thought I was actually really crazy there for a while. I was like, did that really happen? Really? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, you know, obviously the footage is there, you see the one thing, and I, and I thought, no, did that really happen? And then I actually saw a photo from um, someone, I think it was um, Jimmy Wilson had mm -hmm. it, and, um, yeah, the last thing, like it bumped me again, but just went straight from my board. And the last thing I saw was just my board on top of its fin just sailing off into the Yeah, I was like, I'm out of here. You know? <laughs> and you swam for the ski? No, I swam for the beach. Oh, you weren't going for the beach? Yeah, I was going for the beach. The skis were like way they down. Were way away. Yeah, and so. No one was onto it straight away. It all happened so quick. Yeah, you're like, they were there within 10 seconds. Yeah. But yeah. 10 and that's seconds, a long, that's a long seconds, time, yeah. yeah. So I just I just shot in and I was I was swimming in and and um, and then I was swimming on in my mind I was like, hang on, this thing can just come from behind, just take you out right now. So I was like, well, if you're gonna go, you might as well go down with a fight. Like <laughs> I, I made a decision. I was like, all right, okay, turn around. I'm gonna die right now. Thing. Like you yeah, did? Yeah, I, I thought I was gone. And so I was like, all right, let's let's go in down front fighting. of like. 10 million people oh, no. watching. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, so I, I just, my whole thing was trying to get as high as I possibly could uh -huh. so I could get a, a vantage point thinking that it was going to come up that way. And so you can maybe get a jab. Maybe get a jab or something mm. in on it. But um, luckily it didn't come. The didn't boats and the skis yeah. came. And, um, but yeah, it was, it was, uh, yeah, it was a different feeling for sure. Would you just, what would you call it now? Like a friendly tap or? Um, <laughs> just an inquisitive little look. I think it, look, look I, I, th I swear, I, like, I still believe that it was, it was after my board. It wasn't after me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, like, a lot of the times, like, my sort of theories, even with all the shark attacks. Lately, like, I mean, yeah, up on the north coast. Yeah, like, I, I feel like they're going after the board. Really, yeah. yeah. Just some little bright kind of. Yeah. Or even really. if it's white or blue, or, there's not really a colour. It's. Yeah, yeah, like, um, like I did some research and mm -hmm. and they all just talked about um, just yum yum yellow, and so I was like, yellow's out, you know. <laughs> D H. Yeah, yeah. Out. So <laughs> like I was I was when I got home and whatever I was swimming like to the bottom of the bottom of the the, the water and and looking up and the yellow was like out of control. Yeah, it was like it was so bright. Oh, you did, you yeah. Had a look. So yeah. I was like thinking, you know, what what that's colour would just blue. blend in? Yeah. So that's why I've gone blue. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, oh, yeah. classic. So, so I sort of look at it as like sky, and then yeah. my board, and hopefully it blends in enough yeah. that I just don't get touched. You could have just gone green, but <laughs> oh fuck it, no, no. we don't like the green colour. <laughs> but um, yeah, talking about the board, I want to know about that board that mm -hmm. you surfed in the final. I know. J Bay was quite small that whole waiting period, but mm -hmm. I was really surprised when I um, saw you run down the boardwalk for the final and you had that board. It was a really oh, wide DHA, the yeah. one that you won the contest on. Did you um, did you practice on that board? Hang on a sec, that helicopter. Um, 
Did you have a magic surf on that board? The board looked all time. Because yeah. I, like, I know you don't surf those type of boards. It was a lot different than what you usually surf. Yeah, so... Or I, sometimes at Snapper you surf? Yeah, so I, 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 I actually... You know the, the um, start of the year where we had Cyclone Winston? Yeah. I actually rode that, that model. Oh, you did? Um, I rode that model pretty much through the whole swell. Oh, no way. And yeah. it was big. Yeah. And the, board, the tail's so wide. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a little 5.9, but because it's got the four channels, it just holds in that little oh, bit more. Okay. Um, so you were familiar with that board. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. you just busted it out for the final. No, 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 no. So I took it over um, in my mind thinking it was going to be perfect for those small days. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, um, and you know, was... when, I, when I woke up, on that final day and it was tiny mm. and I looked at who I had in my hair, had Philippe Toledo in oh, tiny did. conditions <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get beaten here so might as well go out and have fun and, um, and I had Dean Hazard with me as well. He's like, just ride it. Just ride yeah. it. I was like, it was right. perfectly yeah. clean too, right? Yeah. And you had so, channels. Yeah. And first wave I actually flew down the line and just went straight over the back because the channels just had too much air under it. I was like, oh, I'm just blown out. Oh, it's not yeah. going to work. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to work. Oh, I was like, I was about to paddle in until the boys were in the other board, but I was like, I oh, stuff it, that's all right. Just, yeah. you know, Let's have some fun it. with it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then, then just um, yeah, just, yeah, found the sweet spot on it and, yeah, just went from there. All time. Mm. Um, yeah, so DH, you've been with him through, like, day dot, right? Yes. Pretty much. Yeah, so... I'm pretty um, stoked Jay boys um, riding DHs yeah, that's and sick. ripping. I know, I'm psyched. Yeah, I, yeah. I He's spoke so to him when he got his new boards. It he was epic, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I started riding DHs, I was 13, I think. 13, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was, I was riding. Nice, um, long relationship right there. Yeah, I was riding Daryl Bolgers before that. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I was just at a club round and I just asked DH, like, another sponsor <laughs> and he just like I was you know looking to get rejected and yeah, right. then he goes yeah no worries I was like yes <laughs> so, but then I had to go and tell Daryl and I was like oh well I'm sorry but yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go this way and um, it's, it's been a great relationship with DH we've um, you know had you know all those years you know there's, there's been moments where I just want to throw boards at him and but then you know, 90% of the time, you know, I, I love working with him and he's just such a funny character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's epic. Oh, well, cool. And um, so the last question I really want to ask is um, uh, next year. I know you kind mm -hmm. of avoided the question a little bit, but I can't wait to see you on tour next year. I think you've had a... And I'm, I'm like, writing your book for you. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, oh, even before that, like, just to finish that thing with Jay Bay, like after the shark attack and winning like this year was mm. just finish the book, eh? Hey? Like, I mean, I know you must want to go back there again next year. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah. Jay Bay is one of those places, um, you know, at the start of the year, I didn't know if I was going to go back there for the event, but I knew I was going to go back there mm. um, just to, you know, I just wanted to go and right the wrongs. Right the wrongs, yeah. yeah. And, you know, you know what it's like. It's such a special place. It's yeah. such a... There's so many amazing people there, so... Um, I just imagine it, what people must think, like, outsiders that don't surf. And oh, they think, yeah. this guy got attacked by a shark and then he's going back. I know, I know. Like, Is he like, he's crazy? Or? I know. That's, they don't understand surfers. Yeah, right? and I... I, I mean, and, to, and you. Yeah, I, mean. I, try, I try to make a conscious, conscious decision not to put myself in these really bad positions. <laughs> and so I've gone and done that, and then yeah. I've gone fishing in Alaska oh, where there's bears, bears like, yeah. you know, 15 feet away. And, you, like, yeah. and you sat with the gorillas. <laughs> yeah, like, I, mean, I, I think I've just got a death wish or something, <laughs> but, you know, I think... No, it's, you just want to live life. life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, you don't want to get to the, the end and be like, oh, no. should have done that. But, yeah, no, there's no yeah. bucket list for you. No, no. Far out. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess, you know, going back to the question about next year, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like You don't know. Um, you know, I'd love to... I'd it's four to... world titles. I mean, yeah. Look, I... we know we know Mark Richards, yeah. and there's a record to be broken. Yeah. I mean, it's an Australian record, I know, um, I don't know. but it's a record nevertheless. You're not a record yeah. guy. You're not nah, like Kelly nah, Slater. No, nah, I'm a. Uh, <laughs> I'm look. Yeah, you've world titles really... at this stage to me don't really. Yeah, well, you've had three. Yeah, and 
you know, you're, so, you're, you're looking really comfortable. I mean, you're always comfortable, but extra yeah. comfortable. Yeah, right look, now in your own skin. So it's probably just for the extra weight, just sitting <laughs> me down. <laughs> so but, um, yeah, so you just leave it up in the air. You're yeah. going to leave us hanging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wish I could tell you, but I really yeah. don't know. Okay. You know, I could probably tell you in February or something. But mm. yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm just having so much fun. Just, yeah. just being on no schedule and just showing up to places and um, just seeing what's next. Yeah. yeah. At what point of time do you actually have to tell WSL, you said February, you're going to like leave us waiting for like two days before yeah. snap up, <laughs> just like I'm in? I know, I'll, I'll probably only, whoever's next in line, I'll, I'll <laughs> how much do you want for it? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> but no, I don't know. Look, um, I do know I will surf snapper and I will okay. surf belts. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, you know, my, my dream is, um, to retire at Bells, okay. you know, and that was that was the first ever event I won, and um, that was like, yeah. Um, it feels I feel really comfortable down there. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if it's going to be next year or the year after, mm. or if they keep giving me wild cards. <laughs> for, you know, well they will. Fifty, they will. Yeah, no. you could win it when you're fifty. No. But, um, I mean, I'd like to go in Bells, yeah. and I am 50. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll do it when it's yeah, up to four foot, and then you take yeah, over. No, yeah, it's got to be up to four Tag foot. Tag team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, Mick, thank you so no, much it's for being on. the up It's a yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. Cheers. It's such a